agreed you were going to call me Brian, Absolutely. which is a lot better than a lot of people call me. So, <laughs> that's, so I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Drones are going to be a tool in the toolbox for my kids. One of the big educations for me this morning as well was to, to hear you two guys, you know, who are clearly passionate about farming. But <laughs> if I could say from different generations, is that is that is that all polite, right, all right, all right, all right, all but, right. But, but, yes, I'm reminded frequently. <laughs> yeah, it's where technology comes in and the, yeah, the risks that, and the opportunities of technology that we've yep, been discussing. Yep. And to hear the, the two of you kind of explaining to me, a, a city slicker that. You know, it sounds great to have all this technology, but there's a risk to it as well. And the work that you do along with universities to help, help educate farmers to take those risks appropriately, that work for them, you, you know, it's got to be return. Um, we're not just going to do it for fun, right? Mm -hmm. You know, sustainability means economically sustainable too. And you know, you're 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 not gambling, but you're, you're kind of in the in the in the in the hands of God and weather and rain and and you know, it it's 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 a tough business. So it was really fascinating to hear your conversations around adoption of technology. And those conversations go on in farm families across the state and across the country. 